you would all rise. gives this woman to this man? Mother and I do. I give her to you. We are gathered here today in the sight of God to witness and bless the joining together of Adrian and Cody in holy matrimony. They have come to give themselves to one another in this holy covenant. <clears throat> A good marriage must be created. In marriage, the little things are the big things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say and do, I love you, daily. It's never going to sleep angry. It is standing together and facing the world. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is having the capacity to forgive and forget. It is giving each other an atmosphere in which each can grow. It is a common search for the good and the beautiful. It is not only marrying the right person, it is being the right partner. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's check. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Do you, Cody, take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife, to live together in holy covenant, to love Adrian, to comfort her, to honor and keep her in sickness and in health, in sorrow and in joy, to have and to hold from this day forward as long as you both shall live. Absolutely, I do. <laughs> <laughs> do you, Adrian, take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband, to live together in holy covenant, to love Cody, to comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, in sorrow and in joy, to have and to hold from this day forward as long as you both shall live. Of course I do. Well, and at this time, they would like to share their vows with each other before you. If I would have known a year ago that what I know now, I would have kept, I would not have kept putting off meeting you, especially when my mother told me I should have and your sister tried to convince both of us to actually start a conversation with each other. Then your sister made a whole scene at church on October 2nd and I messaged you on Messenger and I do not get embarrassed very easily, but your sister managed to do that on that day. So <laughs> congratulations, Tiffany. <laughs> I made a lot of mistakes in life, but the f that first message I sent you was definitely not one of them. And I definitely did not know by sending that message that I would be starting a whole new chapter in my life. And in this new chapter, I have a few promises that I have for you. I promise to be your lover, companion, and friend, your partner in parenthood, your ally in conflict, and your greatest fan. And my mom always told me to be completely honest, so... I will also be your toughest struggle. Your comrade in adventure, your student, and your teacher, but above all else, your partner in the good and the bad. I love you, Adrian. Sweet. 
So I don't have that big fancy intro <laughs> and all that, but uh, <laughs> I promise to put God first no matter what. I promise to always seek God with you. I promise to trust you. I promise to choose to love you every day for the rest of my life. I can't promise to understand your point, but I promise to always try. I promise to forgive you as much as I've been forgiven. I promise to respect you in all your decisions. I promise to show you honor with the words that come out of my mouth. I promise to communicate even when I don't agree. I promise to make time for you even when I feel as if there's not enough time in the day. I promise not to give up on you. I promise to endure through every obstacle we put in our marriage. I promise to have fun with you even when I don't feel like it. I promise to match your weirdness. I promise to be your partner no matter what. And when I fall short of these things, I promise to try again in the morning. I promise all these things for better or worse, through sickness and health, and until death do us part. Hmm. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you. At this time, we will exchange the rings. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> these rings are the physical sign of an inward and spiritual grace, signifying the union between Jesus Christ and his church. Bless, O Lord, the giving of these rings, that they who wear them may live in your peace and continue in your favor all the days of their lives. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Cody, if you'd repeat after me. Adrian. Adrian. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of my vow. As a sign of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And the Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Okay. Adrian, if you repeat after me. Cody. Cody. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of my vow. As a sign of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. May the Lord Jesus Christ always be at the center of the new journey that you are embarking on and the life you will build together, that you may build upon the foundation of this love. May the Lord bless you both all of the days of your lives and fill you with his joy. Amen. Now at this time, Cody and Adrian would like to take a moment to worship Jesus with the sacraments of communion. Let me bless that real quick. Father, we thank you for making a way again to receive your love. We thank you for what you've done. We praise your name. We honor what they're saying to each other today, and we honor the inclusion of you in every aspect of it. So we thank you for the price that you paid. In your mighty name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. Thank you, Wayne. I knew it was going to happen. You did good. Good recovery. <laughs> and Jesus took the bread, gave thanks, and broke it. And he gave it to them, saying, This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after the supper, he took the cup, saying, This is the new covenant in my blood, which is poured out for you. asking that you all witness them 
in this rope ceremony. They've chosen to brand or to braid three strands together into a single cord. Each strand has a significant meaning. One strand represents the groom in his life. One strand represents the bride and her life. In braiding these three strands together, they have demonstrated that their marriage is more than a joining of two lives together. It is a unity with God as well. They have chosen to allow God to be at the center of their marriage, woven into every aspect of it. As Ecclesiastes 4, 9 through 12 reads, Two are better than one, because they have a good return for their work. If one falls down, his friend can help him up. But pity the man who falls and has no one to help them up. Also, if two lie down together, they will keep warm. But how can one keep warm alone? Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. Amen. What God has joined together, let no man separate. In so much as Adrian and Cody have consented together in this holy covenant, and have witnessed the same before God and these witnesses, having given and pledged their faith each to the other, and having declared the same by the giving and receiving of rings, I pronounce that you are now both husband and wife. You may now seal the promises that you have made to each other this day with a kiss. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Mr. and Mrs. Roberts. If you all would, they're going to uh, spend some time together before we make it out to the reception. Make yourselves at home out there. Find yourself some seats. Enjoy yourselves. It'll probably be 15 minutes to a half hour before we begin the uh, final bit of the ceremony and begin our dinner. Thank you. Ah, family photos for in here. Thank you very much, sir.